three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, let's get ready to suck it. <laughs> Welcome to your room. Snack bar, Lambeau Field. I was scalded by the cheese of a flaming hot nacho. You play to win the game. He starts to come and then he pulls out. Oh, it's from a slice of gabagool. Finish it. Welcome back to a, another episode of the Dude Cast with Ooh. your two Ooh. favorite dudes. I'm Dom. Yeah. That way. He's marked that way. <laughs> and we are back again, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> for another episode of the Dude Cast. After a nice holiday break. Mm. Episode 38 on the Chop Sports Network on the Premier Streaming Podcast Network. Uh, the, Ch- the Chop Sports Network is also the YouTube page. That as well. Correct. And we are at the Chop Studios here. Uh, someone might be behind the wall. I'm not too sure anymore. They said we are our own today. And to my left, as always, is the boss, bitch, the bird lady. What's up, lady? Oh, that's right. I missed you guys. I know, but yeah, like I said, it was... Yeah, we're all all right, big up. dog. <laughs> we're dying. Uh, that hot dog killed me. No, I'm, hot dogs are out of the diet completely. You were saying it might be eliminated from no, the diet? There's not an if, and, or but they're eliminated. Done. No glizzies. No glizzies. <laughs> oh, they're retired. Uh, they're retired. They're done. I'm, the last three times I had a hot dog, it's been misery for hours afterwards. So. I'm a little disappointed that uh, they're the source of this one, though. Tommy's, Tommy's is legendary. Let me, they dude. also let me down. Yeah. I was like, yeah. this is a funny tasting dog, it's not a pleasant dog. I'm not dealing Have you ever been not... to Tommy's Hot Dogs in no, Carteret? I have not. It's in the back of somebody's house. If you're in like the it's... Carteret, Port Reading area, you they, know. Like, it's it's, it's incredible. No, no, it's like they have a shop. It's like a real like hot dog stand, but it's like connected to the back of their house. Have you ever seen Texas Chainsaw Massacre or That's House a, of a Thousand Corpses? Those are the type of people yes. that work there. Ah. We used to call it Scalpy Dogs because <laughs> I swore I saw hair in the garbage can <laughs> that time. Well, maybe that's why you don't yeah. feel good. Nonetheless, like, legendary, but it, Great but dogs. They have great food, too. Like, besides, like, my go-to there, besides, I just wanted something quick. I'll usually get the cheesesteak, because what he does is he gets the hair, he gets the moon rolls, cuts them in half, empties it out, puts the, the, the liquid cheese in, mm. the steak, the peppers, the onion, whatever, mm-hmm. potatoes, mini potatoes, potatoes. Yep. more cheese. Wrap the bitch up, boom. He does the same thing with the Italian hot dog. Yes. That's my go to is the Italian, Italian hot, hot dog. dog there. Aces, brother. Another good one. Just yes. like I said, he puts it in the half moon. It's incredible. That's my go to. It's, it's one of those spots like Rudd's Hut. It's one of those like. If you know, you know. You know, you're, it's off the beaten path. Yeah. You know, it's right there. I might have to try that out. Yeah, it's good shit. It, I don't, don't let my experience of dying right now about, <laughs> turn you off from it. It's not Tommy's fault. It's my ingestion. It's I, my own body. I fault. took Brooke, who is, I would say, a glizzy aficionado. Yeah, she, yeah, loves yeah. <laughs> she loves her dog. She loves her dog. She loves her dog. And uh, she co signed. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. But that's not <clears> what you had. You didn't have a cheese stick. What'd you have? I just had a dog. I had just a bacon dog. cheese dog. Oof. And then I think the bacon's really fucking me up. But. Not cooked all the way through it. No, it was crispy as fuck. I it's the dog. It's the dog. <laughs> it's the dog. It's the shit they put in those dogs anyway. It's not we're not supposed to eat that. You had a soft dog. That's yeah. the problem. Uh, soft dog. <laughs> yeah. Not too good. No and good. his are legitimate dirty water dogs. When I say, like, it's like actual dirty like water. Like actual dirty water, yes. <laughs> Blood. Bloody uh, dogs. Uh, I enjoy it though. <laughs> Yikes. But, um, Extra hair on top. Ugh, that's a scalpy special. <laughs> <laughs> No, because he actually had, like, his brother used to work there. He was, like, you know, <laughs> I, I, you know, very Ray dog-like. Yeah. Mm. Very <laughs> very Ray, Ray Whitaker-esque. Very Ray Whitaker-esque. <laughs> and, uh, I, I forgot about that one. Oh, yeah. yeah He'd just geez. be there yelling at sometimes. Yeah. I'm like, all right. <laughs> and, like, the dad that worked there, Tommy, the guy started, he was just super old. He's dead now. Yeah. R.I.P. Mm-hmm. Classic, man. R.I.P. Legend. Mm-hmm. And now his son works there, and he's got the, like, he's one of those guys that looks at you, like, how you doing? <laughs> what are you up to, huh? When we seen it at yeah, Kelly's pub that yeah. time, so weird. Hundred percent. It's like yeah, like one. It's like one of those like groups of people you see them outside of like their original environment, and you're like, you're not supposed to be out no. in public. We saw him at Kelly's pub one time. Like, yeah, yeah, that's not right. <laughs> but that would be where he would go. Yeah, if, if any place, yeah. Smelly Kelly's, it is Smelly Kelly. Mm. Um, but yeah, we're back from vacation, a week of holiday fun. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I Joyous love Joyous time. I love Thanksgiving when the Cowboys whip ass. It's mm. my favorite. I love it. They're Maybe playing tonight. Must be nice. Playing tonight, by the way. 
playing just tonight. Saying. Yeah, just just indeed. Saying, just saying, just saying. That's why he's rocking the Dacky. Yeah. But um, I for, like the next day, obviously, Black Friday, the, the shopping craze, all that shit. Like, you've, we've seen the videos. Like people you know, going crazy. Right. That was just some of my all time favorite videos, Black Friday videos. <laughs> Highlight reels. Yeah. yeah. Like but when the Walmart doors open mm-hmm. and everyone stampede yeah. like in fifth grade, we used to do stampedes. People, knocking people down, run them over. Dude, the are the state. deals really that? Like no. some of them are, some They're of very them are. Very few though. No. And this is the thing: you can get the deals all day long, oh, a week, yes. a month now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just a day. Like, there's no reason to yeah. run over the person in front of you no. to stampede to the toy. And then with the internet now, like, you have better deals in there anyway, staying home. Dude, I get emails, right? And like, oh, Black Friday, or Black Friday, Cyber, Cyber Monday, Monday deal yeah. still going, yeah. still yeah. going. Yeah. So, yeah, I, there's those, like, featured items where they're very limited in stock. That's what it is. And yeah. that's, I think, what people go crazy Because, like, yeah. I remember... I was infamous for getting TVs on Black Friday because they're always so like I got my last TV that what nice one I got now is a fifty five inch I got mm-hmm. it for two hundred twenty dollars mm-hmm. mm. yeah and it's a fucking fire TV it's nice as hell yeah but I had bought two Vizios before that I got a Vizio same size everything like that I had some weird fucking problem happen with that I took it back to the store was that an they, LG yeah it was an LG that's right and they gave me the same TV I brought it in because he was like got such a rare problem here it was give exchange no problem I put I set the TV up within a day the same exact fucking problem like real fucking rare yeah. right and then I brought back I'm like is there something else that's like not fucking LG like <laughs> something that some, works like, something that I'm that's gonna because I had a Toshiba they yeah. had one of those fire TVs I'm like let me see that guy yeah that has not done me dirty since mm. I fuck with Toshiba it's a solid product <laughs> Dark Horse Never product. had a problem with a Toshiba TV. I don't know if I ever owned a Toshiba. I think my TV in my room is a Vizio. A Vizio? <laughs> Vizio's not bad. Vizio's it was LG. Good. That fucked me. I'm a Samsung snob. I think yeah. I have LG in my living room, Maybe. actually. They, they, they had a great price for a while. And it's a nice picture when they work. Mm-hmm. But no, I had gone to Menlo Mall this Black Friday because I wanted to get something for my mom that I knew was not going to be there if I didn't go. Um... So like I don't know if, like also just me like I love people watching like oh, I'm just too. the fucking and there's like I don't know if it's New Jersey or whatever but like the people here you Crazy. cannot replicate the people that walk around <laughs> Woodbridge Menlo Mall anywhere else in the planet yeah. like you have every fucking style on the planet walking around at the same time every style. So I just got high as fuck in the Dick's parking lot. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, let me go in here and just go do this. And I walk in and I'm walking. I'm like, first of all, it took me a minute to get in there. And then once I got in, I'm walking around. And I don't know where they gave these fucking kids those like, like since when were like unsupervised children allowed to like kamikaze drive like a vehicle like you've seen those little like things they have in the mall like little animals you just sit yeah, on yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. you don't need any rhyme like kids are, are just... supposed to stay in, like, no one there's area? no designated area there's no like oh yeah. these a couple kids rogue ones got out here. and like this one kid you could tell him like he probably shouldn't be on there by himself Ugh. he's driving by like this <laughs> fuck <laughs> i'm like oh my god but then, like, they see me but then they have the fucking, <laughs> they got the fucking Indian guy driving the little train with the kids yeah, in the back. Yeah, and yeah, that yeah. one also doesn't have a fucking, like, oh, be here. He's running around the whole fucking mall. Ding, ding, ding. Chaos. He, almost, he almost got derailed. Some fucking <laughs> bitch comes out of Dunkin' Donuts at like 100. And he's like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Almost caused a mass derailment. He's about to look like go Gaza. The ball, Black Friday. Dude. <clears throat> yeah. Or period. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Mm. But. Like, I'm sitting there thinking to myself, I'm like, there's no way, like, the malls are in trouble. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, the malls are dying out. When you go on Black Friday, you, that's hard to believe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I know the mall model in general, like, shifted mm-hmm. to more event-based things. Yeah, there's things there to do more. Like, so it's it's more of, like, an entertainment, yeah. you know, area. Yeah, there's yeah. an entertainment place by your old house that I was like, what the fuck is this? It's on Route 18. It's called, it's right by the... What was that fucking bar, Route like 18? Rock and Air or whatever. By uh, Arugas. Arugas? It's called like Plumera or something like that. It's a bowling alley. It Bolero. Looks like Polero. That place oh. looks yeah. insane. Is it open yet? I you never been so. to a Bolero before? They've no, it's not a Bolero. It it's Palermo or Polero. No, dude, it's like uh, they have a bowling alley, but they have like laser tag, a 7D theater with like seats that like go around. Oh, like this that. must be new bar. then. It, it looks incredible, dude. Interesting because I think there was supposed to be a bolero there originally. Yeah, no, yeah. I said, and like my dad there said, was, he right? had a, yeah. my dad said he had there a, was a bowling alley. Uh, they were it is a bowling there alley, but now it's now. more. It's way more. My dad went to a a poker tournament. He's like, yeah, there's a bowling <clears throat> pin in the in the driveway. You see a big giant bowling pin. Yeah, that's pin. right by Aruga. Yeah, right? yeah. 
That's that place is nuts, of. dude. Yeah, it's called like Palermo. You see it or Pal- I'll, I'll huh. show you. My mom, I sent to my mom the other day because I was like, this is nuts looking. Uh. So why? Yeah, Polaris Entertainment. That thing. Look up that. Palmer. What is Palmer's it? Palmera's Entertainment. Oh. She'll look it up. I'll right. get it up there. But so I'm at Black Friday Chaos. People watching, and like I said, you just literally. You cannot replicate the people that are walking around. Yeah. Like, you have <laughs> you had the fucking super Italian, like, over-the-top, like, The family. DeVitos. The DeVitos. Like, <laughs> they're arguing over there, like, why the fuck's this got to be like this? Blah, blah, blah. And walking oh. past them is the Whitaker crew. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm like, look at this. Like, this, oh, if you're people there, watching, too. there's no better spot. Black Friday might be the top... D- people watching yeah, day of don't buy time. a movie ticket that day. No, no need. There's no need. Post up at the mall if you can get into it, <laughs> and just people watch all day. It's incredible. It's <laughs> it's the people that are walking through there. It's incredible. Have you ever seen anything like so crazy? Whether it's on video or like in real life. Well, on do, a well, Black do you remember Friday? when I stopped that robbery? When what? on a so, Black Friday? I, well, I don't think it was a Black Friday. I think it was just a regular day at the mall. Some dude was running. <laughs> oh yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. guy running down the hallway in the mall, and somebody's like, "Stop!" So I just fucking. Body him. I picked him up. I fucking slammed him. And the guy's like, oh. And they pick him up and they're pulling like pairs of jeans oh, out of his shit. pants. Oh, It's like this God. old Mexican dude. You ruined his day. And I was like sitting there thinking to myself, I'm like, I, the only reason I did this is because this dude was screaming. I thought he stole something from him. Yeah. Uh, like personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if I knew he was just hopping from the store, I probably would No, I know you're it. anti-establishment. Yeah. Yeah, I would have no been way. like, you, you yeah, have cared. fuck it. Yeah. But like I thought he robbed this guy. <laughs> yeah. So I just dropped his ass and I was like, hey, you know what? Yeah, fuck him. Yeah, but I kind of wish I did. <laughs> kind of wish I just let the old man go. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked no. up his day. Yeah, but no. Well, we were like, we were, we were talking about fucking Thanksgiving, but, Black Friday, yeah, and all so that Black shit. Fridays and stuff, right? Yeah. Um, over what was it, last week or whatever. Mm. I so, so I'm out in Montague now and uh, exploring the area. Mm. And there's a nice little movie theater there that nice. I've been very, very curious about. Mm-hmm. So I saw that Eli Roth's Thanksgiving was playing there. I'm like, perfect. I'm yeah. in. So I asked Brooke, I'm like, you want to go? And she's mm-hmm. like, will you be mad if I say no? I'm like, <laughs> no, nah, I don't give a fuck. You yeah, yeah, go. I'm yeah, still yeah. going. So yeah, yeah. I did like a solo date, got myself a burger beforehand. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I love date. going to movies by myself. One of the most underrated things in the world. I have never gone to the movies by myself. It's underrated. Not, not a bad experience at all. Actually enjoyable. I mean, it's not like you're talking to no, anybody no. anyway. You're, you're literally there to watch a movie. Yeah. yeah. So like I get fucking high as hell. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. There. I'm just I used to go to like matinees, like like when I'd have off work yeah, during yeah. the week, no one's around. I'd go to a movie at like eleven thirty in the morning. It would so, be amazing. Absolutely. GMS move. Before I get into the movie though, one mistake I did make. What? And I've been out of the game for so long. I don't, I don't think about what what happens on Friday nights with kids. Oh yeah. Oh. And it's a small theater. Teenagers oh yeah. And stuff. Oh yeah, like high school kids yeah, and shit yeah. at yeah. the theater. That's the you know, Al Duke's you know, nightmare. The kids, you know, <laughs> girlfriends, boyfriends, yeah. all, you know, all the guys. I so I had like second to front row, mm-hmm. and I'm like, all right, no one's gonna fuck her with me here. I had the whole row to myself. I'm like, this is perfect. Mm-hmm. I'm like, hi, I'm gonna. Kick back, enjoy myself. Then these two little fucks uh, <laughs> come and sit next to me. And I'm like, all right, it's a guy and his girlfriend, yeah. whatever. I'm sure they're, they'll be fine. Nah. This little <laughs> fuck had to make comments the whole time, you know, making cracking jokes, mm. you know, being the typical, you know, typical teenage kid. Yeah. I've been there, done that. So I don't know about you guys, if you were in this position or not, or what you would do. Mm. So I'm like, I'm, I'm really trying to constrain myself because I'm like, I don't want to be that old man mm-hmm. in the theater that's going to turn around He's and like, tell everybody to shut up. the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. Or even like go to the kid like, hey, listen, you know, mm-hmm. I'm like, just tone it down a little bit. I'm just, yeah, you know, yeah. trying to just watch the movie. I'm like, I couldn't get myself to do it because yeah. I'm like, I've been in this kid's shoes before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been the dickhead. Yeah. I've definitely been the dickhead on multiple occasions, especially at the movies, I've probably man. ruined people's time. 100%, movies, huh? dude. But definitely thrown things Do you remember, like, doing, like, the Arnold boards Popcorn. in the movie yeah, theaters? Yeah, we really and bring, do like, sound boards in the movie theaters. Before mobile phones. Like, we're yeah. bringing speakers. <laughs> like, uh, with CD, like, mobile CD players. Yeah. Up to yeah, it. yeah. And, and to put, ruin everybody's time. Yeah. So, I had a... Yo, it's karma. It's oh, just yeah. karma. It's karma. I had to take it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Had to, had to take your meds. So I was like, you know what? Whatever. I could tone it. I could tone it out enough to watch yeah. the movie and enjoy it. It's fine. Yeah. Um, 
so Eli Ross, Thanksgiving. I'll give you a review, mm -hmm. but um, spoiler, first scene in the movie mm -hmm. is it's a Black, a Black Friday? Friday scene, yeah. like, to the 10th degree, yeah. like, over-exaggerated. Please tell me, like, it's Eli Ross style where it's, like, get, does it get gory? Like, yep. people are getting caught in, like, the fucking escalator. Yes. And everything like, that you would expect. Yeah, that's okay. exactly what Bones I would Bones cracking, blood yeah. all over the place, people stomping on each other. Oh, yeah. yeah. Death. Yeah. Like, just yeah, yeah. complete... Absurd, mm -hmm. you know, gore and everything. Like it's I said, the best that you would part expect. of his movies. It was great. Yeah, it was great. Um, so going into that, that being the first scene, I'm like, oh, yeah, like it's okay. gonna deliver. It's gonna fucking be great. This is everything I wanted it to be. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I'll tell you what. If yeah, if you're a, if you're a casual horror fan mm -hmm. and you like the idea of like a holiday horror movie, like a thanks, yeah. like this could be the Thanksgiving horror movie. Yeah, for yeah. the next. I don't know, five years, you know, however many installments they okay. want to make. Yeah, yeah. My mom now, enjoyed it. She liked it. She saw it. She's like, I liked it. If you <laughs> had been like a sicko like me or this guy and been <laughs> waiting for this thing to drop for 16 years, yeah. basically, and have From a certain seeing the false trailer. expectation based on that yeah. false trailer, my friend, Yeah. Um, I think you'll be a little disappointed. And that's ah. kind of like how I am because... Yeah. Of the expectation it set. It was gritty. It was like that grindhouse mm -hmm. style. The way they filmed it was like that. Like the an old, grainy film. Yeah, the grainy old Texas chainsaw film So style. this is what I'm expecting. What I got was, and I and Joey Blue Reviews, our friend Joe that does the reviews, he put it this way. And it didn't come from him because he didn't see it yet, but he saw someone, I think he read it somewhere mm -hmm. or something like that, that it was equivalent to like a 2000 slasher style. Like so, like so think early... of like um, maybe like I know what you did last summer. Okay, okay. Right. that style Scream, to it, I guess. Like um, not really, but yeah. But I I feel like Scream's kind of more of like that outlier. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I know what you mean. Like almost like a mostly like think a about teen. those early yeah. yeah teen like two thousand style yeah um, slashers. Except, like House of Wax. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, my God. I remember House yeah, of Wax. Yeah, definitely along that line, but just with better gore and way better uh -huh. kills. Okay. So it depends where you fall. If you're in it just for the kills and thrills, it's good yeah. enough. It's cool. Mm -hmm. if, if you're a casual fan, I think you're going to like it. I think you'll – but if you're like a uh, more of a hardcore fan, yeah. eh, it might not it's be just for you. very – Eh. Worth a watch, though. Worth a watch as I spit on this. Whoever has to use this next, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. um, I want to watch it now. Yeah, like, I feel like it's worth, worth a viewing. watch, but not a movie, t movie no. experience. No. Stream. Stream it. Okay. But Joe just said, yeah, Joe Blue put in the chat who's saying that. So they're, it's definitely a go for Thanksgiving, too. They're already they're going to take uh. a year to write, write the script and all that stuff. And I had said, I'm like, you know what? I haven't seen the first one yet, but if I'm getting this from him, I kind of have an idea what I'm going to walk into. Mm -hmm. Might probably not going to be 100% my cup of tea either, but I have a thing for like Roth sequels. Like, he has more than not just Hostel, Hostel 2, far superior to Hostel 1. 100%. And also just underrated as like one of the greater oh, horror yeah. movies. I think Hostel 2 is incredible. Mm -hmm. Like, it'll fuck you up. Yeah. That's one of those movies that'll fuck you up. And you know why? Yeah. Because there is an element of realism Realness to it. To it. Oh, Realness, yeah. right? Yeah. Even with um, Green Inferno. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's you know what, what I, I like. Can, what makes me throw up that fucking centipede movie. Human centipede? Human centipede, yeah. 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 That shit makes me vomit. Oh, I, I know why. It's disgusting. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh that's one of the most all-time grotesque. Yeah. But I forget. Eli Roth has another series where the second one is good. Um, shit. It's drive, it driving me nuts. I was trying I mean, to think about it a great example. But yeah, it's the only example you need. Cause like Hostel One's okay, but Hostel Two is so it takes it to that like you said that so like in the first one like you're just kind of like oh this is happening whatever, but in the second one you find out why it's all happening like oh so these rich people just get together all the time this is a and, club and it's a club and they buy fucking people to torture because that's what they they go away yeah. on vacation and part of their vacation is they go buy people and torture them yeah. Which is incredible. Which is probably something that really happens. I mean, who the fuck knows? Who know. foreign countries creep me out. Yeah, in dude. general. Yeah, in general, dude. So like some of the scenes in Hostel too, like when the one girl got taken, she got bought by that rich fucking lady that cut her open and like just bathed yes. her. Yes, yes. So crazy. Yes. And then that guy that didn't want to do it pussy style, and then he fucking it finally snapped and, and he, he just fucking just, went nuts yep. on everybody. Like it's, it connects. It's, With the human mind, a lot so, of that yeah, stuff, man. It's, so, it's such a good movie. But, yeah, highly suggest that. So that's what I'm thinking. Maybe t 
maybe Thanksgiving too, if you give Eli Roth a year to fuck with it. Yeah. Maybe put, maybe it'll be better. Maybe he could do something different. Maybe you know, I'm, I'm gonna get willing to give that a chance. It, it almost feels like, and I could be completely wrong because I'm not an expert by any stretch, but it, mm. it almost feels like that someone like he presented the movie in a way, mm-hmm. and like they half kept what he wanted. Yeah. And then like I mean that's true because they do take your movie and tear it apart. Yeah. And yeah. Say, I don't and like think I want you to do this. Yeah, you, you know, they add something this. like this. Like it's almost a tale of two movies in that mm-hmm. way where it's like you see where like the gore he wanted going to go and with stuff it like that. And that first scene, I'm like, yeah. if they just kept that energy up uh-huh. for an hour and twenty minutes would have been perfect. Of just rampage, yeah. I would have been good with that. Yeah. And the only uh, the other thing I didn't like either was the ending of the killer. Okay. Weak. 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 Yeah, let's just say, like, I think a lot of that has to do with the studio because, like, all right, well, you have to make it R, not NC 17. Yeah. And, like, yeah, you know, take like this that. out and add this. I bet you they come out with, like, a unedited one that's, like, sick. Perhaps. Like, on DVD or something that's, like, that's sick. That's true. Yeah. Um, by the way, mm-hmm. I purchased a Christmas gift for myself this year. Mm, nice. I almost did, too. I almost bought a $3,000 Jackson. <laughs> Ooh, that would have been a real nice treat. Yeah, decided, <laughs> decided against it, though. I bought a uh, my first uh, 4K player. Ooh. Yeah. I got so one of coming those. in the mail. I yeah, one of in your, uh, on your system. Yeah. yeah that's true. So, again, building up that uh, physical media collection, man. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a Panasonic. It's like one of the, like... So, you... In the 4K player mm-hmm. world, there's like your lower, mid, and then like high, yeah, high. Yeah. And I got like the high end mid. Mid, yeah. You know, I'm I not going you. 900, 1,000, 2,000 dollars on yeah. a 4K player. Yeah, you don't have. But I go a few hundred. You don't have the full. The full things to enjoy that. Like you need the Sonos. You need, you know, 100 percent to maybe like really in the basement enjoy one day. That. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But no, nah, not yet. But I'm yeah, excited to try that. that out. See what's like. And I fucking I saw a seventy five inch TV today in my conference room of my job. I was like, just good lord. Yeah. Well, we had to do that's a meeting. We had to do a fucking meeting today. I had to come in an, an hour early today to do a meeting mm. for um food safety. So like we're not allowed to eat in the warehouse. Oh god. Uh, that's all you had to tell me. You don't have to make yeah. me watch a twenty minute fucking video on why it's retarded to eat in the warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Makes no sense. That's all because of the the our fucking boss so, so it's called someone eating a roll. Like, what a jerk off. It was a like such a, a petty bitch high school thing to do. He walked in, he's like, like a cop. He was like, what do you got there? Huh? <laughs> Is that bread? Is I that see? bread? Is that a roll? <laughs> he's got bread. We need backup. But like, yeah, he's like, we, he doesn't say nothing to us. Just, what's that? And he's like, oh, my breakfast. <laughs> he was like, you didn't see the sign? He's like, no, I didn't see the sign. He's like, well, I'll get you guys trained up real good. I'm like, okay, asshole. <laughs> Look at this fucking jerk off. Oh, what's the big deal if you yeah, need a roll? It's a roll. So they just went through a whole thing. I'm like, I had to come and in early know, it for this. Brings, like rodents into the warehouse. And yeah, I get boxes. it, but but still, it's a roll. Like, <laughs> yeah, they go D on stupid shit there. They just want to control. It's how I get every job. Any idea mm-hmm. how much Thanksgiving made opening weekend? Probably like a couple mil, not even like f- two, three. Yeah, yeah. I'd say about the same. Over ten million. Yeah, really? it brought in it's a little better. Than it's I opening thought. weekend because I didn't. I didn't think people would a one go to the movies yet or go mm-hmm. see it so soon. Well, I guess people were are off. Home, yeah. yeah, they had a budget of fifteen million. They made ten on opening weekend that's right off no, the rip. That's, that's yeah for a slasher movie. Yeah, it's pretty Eli good. Roth slasher yeah, movie. Saying, like I feel like yeah. holiday season. Where are you saying that? Sorry. No, that I that's high. I didn't think that that type of movie mm-hmm. would make that much money opening it. So he yeah, was, but if you spend fifteen, they're gonna have to make. Oh, well, they'll be in the theaters for a little longer, so they're gonna make more money. Oh yeah, but no, they'll they'll do good. Yeah, they'll they'll make probably like around thirty. They'll double it. Yeah, yeah, better. But uh, <laughs> I will say the good thing about all this is that this slasher made ten million dollars mm-hmm. opening weekend. It's gonna open up more opportunities for more slasher Dude, Terrifier movies. Three is gonna be Terrifier. It's gonna break yep. records, probably. Yep. Yeah. And it's gonna bring on some more slashers, which means we're gonna get a lot of shitty movies yeah, too, dude. which is fine. Yeah. I mean, but there's already a lot of shitty yeah. horror movies. Yeah. Yes. But like it that's is the really idea. Hard like to I think find a good horror movie. Yeah, but I think that's kind of the idea. Sometimes like they make horror movies bad on purpose. I think they just over the top. Hundred percent. They do. Yeah. I think they do like B movies too. So like just like not the ho- not the big budget Hollywood no, movies. No. They don't no. No. Yeah. They, they wouldn't dare. But I'm talking about like your. Every the day, trauma movies. Tra- yeah, they're Things meant like to be like out ridiculous. Speaking of trauma, new fucking 
uh, Toxic Avengers coming out. Yeah, what's going on with that? And like Peter Dinklage is yeah, playing I know. Toxic Avengers. Yeah, I, I don't that. believe I, like that's gonna be hard to believe for me because I liked the Toxic Avengers shit when I was a kid. Like the, the cartoon was the shit. I had all the toys, but like, and it's the only New Jersey superhero. Typical, it's fucking mm. Toxic Waste. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's fucked up yeah uh, oh. but like i saw a picture of uh e what's his name elijah wood uh-huh. and he's in that movie he looks weird looks like he almost looks like a skinny version of the penguin from batman returns <laughs> oh, okay or like dirty oh, style. He's in that yeah movie too? no no yeah elijah wood's in the yeah. elijah wood does he's a lot the, of horror now yeah he's in the crusader movie there's a bad guy I nice think. he's the heel <laughs> the heel the heel mm. um Speaking about Black Friday before, mm-hmm. um, I saw uh, another massacre what? on Black Friday. Oh, God. Which one? Um, the, the New York Jets. Oh, yeah. Massacre. <laughs> yeah, that's rough. That, unfortunately, your boy had to sit through at MetLife. But you had yeah, a suite I'm about to say, at least, least right? you had it was sweet preferable to have a suite. suite yeah. seats. So yeah. this was cool. The seats are really cool. I will give it that. That was mm-hmm. my first experience doing that at MetLife. Mm-hmm. Um, I wasn't like in a private box or anything but you have a private area that's like shared with other people Mm -hmm. so you have a bar you have you know there's a buffet of you know picking food things like that there's a you know a private bathroom um and that's nice and then you go outside of the bar and if it's like a nice day there's tables and chairs and And you you could actually not even like the bleachers or anything like you could sit there and like watch a game or or at least watch the screen maybe you can't see the field well the picture you sent from where you could see you could see a good amount of the field well yeah and then there's actually the stadium seating that's um like a general admission area so you can just like sit wherever and like then like sit and actually watch the game that's pretty cool and that all comes with the sweet package all all comes in that package that's fucking worth it and dude so i was about to say like when he was telling me this i'm like that sounds like the perfect thing for us now that we're older yeah that's what i'm saying Dude, yeah. I go to my guy, my guy John, who you uh-huh. know got the tickets, and I was like, dude, like I don't know if I could go back now mm-hmm. to not doing it this way. Yeah, like you were saying, like we're a little older now. It's nice to be a little more comfortable. Yeah, you know, things not like that. Not sitting all, not taking the stairs or whatever. Oh, all yeah. the yeah. way to the top. I mean, your own bathroom, you got me right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, for real. Yeah, yeah, it's still a line, but nowhere, nowhere yeah. near. It's not like Some food. the absolute chaos that goes on in a football bathroom. No, God, like I've no. seen everything in the in the MetLife bathroom happen. <laughs> everything you can imagine. Everything. People doing drugs. People shitting oh, on the course. floor. Yeah. People, oh. people passed out on the floor. People throwing up in the toilet. Multiple people naked pissing <laughs> in the sink. I've seen it all at the MetLife bathroom. <laughs> Fights. Everything. Oh, yeah. Everything. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, but I will give dice games. <laughs> I, will, I will give it to MetLife though, like that. That was experience cool. is nice, and I am the mm, probably number one mm-hmm. MetLife hater. Oh, MetLife I'm, stadium I, hater. I'm up I there hate. too. I hate it. That was yeah. not bad. The game, on the other hand, atrocious. Yeah, bad terrible, game. disgusting, dude. You think They're Tim Boyle so is worse bad. than, Je- than yeah. Wilson? I think Tim Boyle yeah. might be worse. Yeah, I think it's. I, I didn't know it's possible <laughs> to be to worse. take a step down from. Quarterback play with Zach I mean, you Wilson. You had to do it. Don't it's get me wrong. Worse. You had to try it. It's worse. It's worse. He had to try it though. Zach's uh, going no, I nowhere. Get it. I get it. So I get it. But, but you know what? I think now the only thing that comes out of it that's good. It's like now you you've washed your hands of Zach Wilson. Yeah, yeah that, that era is it's completely done. done. Thank He's God, done. it's done. Um, I just wish we didn't have to fucking watch it this year. Yeah, I really wish it was no, already done. I get it. Um, Which is why I say if Rodgers comes back and he's healthy, even if it's for a game, I gotta see it. I got to see him play. Why, though? One. Why? One, because he's Fo- getting paid to play football for your team. So why the fuck not? And two, if he ends up coming out there and it looks good, you know you have something already. And But if he comes out and looks terrible. What's the difference? We don't have a choice. <laughs> what do you mean? We're stuck to him next year no matter what. So if he comes out and looks terrible, we're still stuck with him. What do we yeah. do? I mean, but he still, might look terrible. Him. He hasn't played all yeah. season. Our, our like, line is garbage. But like, if he's You're healthy. You're going to put him behind that line? If, if he's healthy, mind? if he's healthy to play and he's cleared to play, why not play? Because he's going to get killed. <laughs> That's his choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, easy for a Cowboys fan to say that. Yeah. Well, oh, he's yeah? not your quarterback. Oh, it's easy for a Cowboy fan to say Sure, he's I've, not your quarterback. Yeah, you're right, but I've seen the Cowboy quarterback go down every fucking year. So it's not like well, I haven't you're, you're seen looking, it. You're looking good this year, that's, that's for sure. MVP status, but that can't. <laughs> but dude, he could fucking go down tonight. Yeah. Well, it, well, of course, of you course. Know? But listen, I would rather bubble wrap Rogers until next year. Oh, I just feel go like in a darkness play retreat play. until OTAs and figure it out. 
I don't care. Just I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. For what? I get zero benefit. Well, I don't think you should pull. You know why I don't think you should play that now? I don't think you should play in this turf anymore. That might. And oh, that's, the turf. that's the one saving grace, right? Mm-hmm. Is the fact that maybe this will be the turning point for them to get some new fucking turf in the building. I think maybe Jalen Phillips. Because Phillips, that's yeah. It. You're just, you're losing star players. Dude, it's been three years, right? 2020 to now, they've lost 15 players. It's atrocious. Up to that field. It's atrocious. Sterling Shepard twice on the Giants. Like, yeah, I don't care what and, team it is, what player. Yeah. Like, that shit just cannot be yeah. happening. Yeah. Like, star players, too. Like, a lot of star players go down. But, like, now, now they're going to play these FIFA games there, right? They're, they're going to play these, like, big European soccer mm-hmm. teams that bring in all these fucking people. That's all Aren't they, they switching to, it? They, yeah, to, and they're going to switch it from turf to grass. Yeah. So if, it, if you can just do that for them, why can't you do that now? Yeah, just now? leave it. Why can't you do that? I, that's one thing I don't understand. Is that MetLife? Is that the NFL? Is that the Jets, the Giants? Whose fault is that? Because obviously... It's a problem. There's contractual deals. There, there's, there, there has, has to, be. to be. Because there's no reason yep. why you can, you know what I'm saying? Like, yep. they have to have something. They have to be in bed somewhere with the turf company or something. Yeah. It's the only way. Because I mean, they might have a contract that they have to keep it for a They probably do. They something. probably do. But if that was the case, you should have put a roof on the fucking building then. Instead of building an air conditioner. You know? But that's oh, what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, the, yeah. the NFL is so, a huge so miss. fucking hypocritical when they talk about player safety. If they really gave a fuck about player safety, they take that fucking terrible turf out of that fucking stadium. Yeah. And they put grass down. Because if FIFA can do it, you know what I'm saying? And if they're going to do it, why do you think they're going to do it? Because it's unsafe to play on that fucking <laughs> turf. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, a couple quick hits before we hit break. Mm. Um, one, interesting news. In the wrestling world, I saw so Seven Bucks Productions mm-hmm. is creating, or um, well, it's rumored to be developing a series about WCW. Oh yeah, you hear anything about that? No, so, I just watched the Dark Side of the Ring about with Vince Russo and whatever about that. Uh, hol- what was it? One of the pay per views from two thousand. It was like it was a good Dark Side of the Ring. I never saw that one. Huh. It was very random. Which one it was, was like it? Eric, it was, it was a WCW one. It was about Vince Russo and Eric Bischoff, and it was like. Pay per view two thousand. I forget the name of the pay per view, and it was like a whole thing. Like they were going to give the title to Booker T, mm-hmm. and they ended up getting Hogan had a contract. He had a con- part in his contract where it said he can choose the outcomes of his matches. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, he he had full yeah. control. Full and he, well, he was not. Getting, he was winning the title that night, no matter what. Yeah. Even though he, they wrote him, but they ended up giving the title to somebody else. But they were what? like, no, no. Jeff Jarrett came out and laid down. And then Hogan just... That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Vince Russo wrote this. He's like, just go lay down for him. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. Give him what he wants. You know? And that would... So basically, and this is perfect. I'm sure and that would probably something to do with that. This this series is about the mysterious demise of WCW. That was was definitely part of it. it. Is that these guys, you know, it's so... When you look at like Hogan Hall and Nash, right? Like Mm. you look at those guys and what they did. Depends who you ask. People refer to them as like the devil and they're bad for the industry mm. or that they're pioneers and, you know, they're brilliant yeah. and they're great for I wrestling. Think it's brilliance. Yeah. <laughs> sure uh, you brilliance. know, love them or hate them, whatever. You can't deny yeah. the impact that they made. No. Yeah. You cannot deny it. The NWO was revolutionary However, wrestling. with that, when you give, you know, non-business people all that power to book their matches, have full control of outcomes, things like that. Yeah. Of course it's going to cause issue, oh, issues. Yeah. And of course, you know, that's one of the many reasons why WCW mm-hmm. eventually did fold bad management towards the end. You know, when they brought in Russo and, you know, some of it's Russo shit wasn't terrible, even though he's oh, nuts, man, but like, he it was good, bad. He had some good ideas. He, he was out of the ideas. box. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He had some creative was, ideas, but yeah, he, the I problem is when like, Russo went there, Russo was already synonymous with the Attitude Era. That's, yeah, and when yeah. he went to WCW, he tried to like implement the same thing, mm-hmm. and it was just like a cheap knockoff of what was already done. Yeah, and he like, wanted to do more reality based shit. Yeah, so but like he was the one who started that type of wrestling. Yeah, like, like that's why I give him credit. Yeah, he was like the godfather I, of that reality wrestling type of shit. Just not a likable guy. No, it's just one of those nope. deals. You yeah, know? you could tell he's a fucking jerk. Yeah, in life like person. Yeah, hard New Yorker. Yeah. You know. What's up, motherfuckers? Yeah. It's just Vince Russo. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
But that'll be interesting. I'm down. I'm dude. I'm in, and dude. Like I watch wrestlers. I'll watch this. I, I'm into. I'll watch it all. I'm trying to get back into the the wrestling a little bit now. Yeah. Um. And so I started watching like the, the Survivor last Survivor Series. Pretty good. First of all, the last AEW pay per view. I didn't watch. It, was I a bloodbath. Yeah, I wish I Absolute saw. Absolute bloodbath. The Cowboy and Swerve match. Mm-hmm. Cowboy was drinking Swerve's blood. That's crazy. Ew. That's crazy. Dude was leaking, and Cowboy was underneath <laughs> and catching oh, the blood. That's crazy. It was. And I don't get like you know squeamish yeah, over like, yeah, like uh, blood and wrestling like yeah. and stuff. And I'm like, this was like a very uncomfortable <laughs> match to watch, dude. Nice. I'll it was borderline death, watch that death one. match style. Yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna watch any of them, watch that. But um, nice. Survivor Series, you know, was was, was okay. okay. Um, I, I like the women's uh, Survivor Series match probably the the best that night. Actually, they've been doing good, but their women's division has gotten good now. That they have they added Oscar to that. Uh, Damage control, yeah, or whatever. Like that crew. I like that good. stable it's a, good a lot. Crew. And then you have Rhea, who's just dominance. And then, by the way, Bailey, bro, got hefty. Yeah, she put it on. A she little put bit. it on. Like she's, she's always bitch. been a thick yeah. chick. But whew. yeah, but no, I like what they're doing with the women's red, which is why I think they're gonna have to bring what's her face car going soon. Yeah. So what's she been doing? Just training, basically. I, probably, I think they're trying to get her trained up. Yeah, in the back, like working shit. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's just that, that she'll be interesting in that division. Yeah, I want to see. Time. I want to see her. I want to see her and Bianca. I want to mm-hmm. see her and Rhea. Like, oh yeah, I'd you know, to all see those that. big bitches, man. I love, Fucking. I would love to be between Rhea and Cargo. Oh, there any you day go. of the week. That's like a, a hot muscle sandwich. Uh-huh. They could both bench press me. I don't care. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Not usually the one for the, uh, no, the I don't. muscular. I hate that style, style. normally, but they're both hot. I so. agree. It's like I that agree. chick LaPointe dated. Yeah, <laughs> she was a fucking body full blown bodybuilder. Yeah, that bodybuilder. Yeah. <laughs> Most unsexy pictures I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Ugh, uh, gross. But yeah, so all that, and then the CM Punk return, which, you know, again, he's one of those guys, love him or hate him, it's a draw. I was more hyped for Orton. I, I was Orton. more, yeah. Orton, Orton's return. I'm another guy I'm not big on. Yeah. Um, but I did like how he called out Rhea and he was like, oh, daddy's home. Yeah. Daddy's home. Yeah. <laughs> that it's was Pearson. cool. Daddy's home. But I did not, um, <laughs> dude, I, I do not like punk. And I'm like, I'm no, trying to get back into WWE. Not now in punk's dumb. back. And yeah. I'm like, oh. I'll just stick to my AEW. Uh, yeah. It's real yeah. easy. Because yeah. they have a good product. The AEW shows are great. Like, so honestly, their Saturday night show is probably their best show. Yeah. Collision. It's I've, great. I've never watched an episode of Collision, to be honest. It's great. Yeah. It's great. Uh, but what do you think about the punk return? Care? Mm. Not care? Don't care. Yeah. I'm over punk. I don't give a fuck about him at all. There's people all like I'm fucking, surprised how many people still like care they about give this a guy. Fuck. I like, know. I don't give a fuck about this dude at and all. And his matches aren't even good. No. He calls himself the best in the world. Why? <laughs> I've never He's seen boring. you do it. Yeah, I've never seen you do anything cool. He's a boring wrestler. He has no cool moves. No, I know. His moves that plus. The coolest thing about him is his music. Mm-hmm. Cult of personality. Yeah, Great it. theme. Good entrance. Woohoo! I know that's a lot of guys it. who have good entrances. Yeah. No, thanks. Yeah, so I, I'll pass on the punk stuff. I'd probably rather watch like fucking 10 hours of Goldberg matches. 10 hours of Gold Dust matches. Yeah. <laughs> Gold Dust is at least creative. Good wrestler, yeah. Goldberg did Gold four Dust. moves every month match. It was the most boring yeah, shit ever. Yeah, still making money off it to this yeah. day. Aren't you Goldust for Halloween? Uh-huh. And, I had to paint you. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, and our buddy Scott was Stardust. Uh, yeah, Stardust. I had to paint him, too, I think. That was, that was great. Bray. That wasn't Halloween. That was, was, like, was it? Oh. Yeah. It was yeah, like a wrestling was party, wrestling. like an idiot. I remember I was painting people. I was Bray. Uh, You're Bray Wyatt. Yeah. R. Bray R. had a really good KO. Yes, he did. There was the year that cat was Rex, and I had to sew the, <laughs> the coach attire. I had to sew the, the patch. Jets, the That's patch right. Up. I remember that. Cap looked just like him. Yeah, too. that was a great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was great. Oh, shit. All right. Um, You probably break time. Yeah, let's take break. Break time. Um, Joey Blue reviews. I th- Does he have something? I don't think so. I think he. I think he. Uh, Joey screwed. He's he's Joey screwed in. us. Yes. Sorry, Joe. Slacking. Sorry. Wedding planning. Yeah, I got his wedding. Up I got your planning. invitation yesterday, Joe. It's in the oh, mail. I got it too. Yeah, we all did. Nice. All right, Joe. We're taking a break. We'll be back. Yeah, yeah. I want a giant screen TV. But I didn't want a giant screen taking over my living room. Look what Zenith built. By remote control, the screen rises from the fine furniture cabinet. Zenith presents Space Screen 45, more than three times the area of a 25-inch screen, yet the picture is sharper than ever before in home projection TV. And only Zenith has the screen that disappears. So I get my living room back. New Space Screen 45. Only Zenith has it. And we're back for the second half of the dude. 
Cast, cast right. baby. We're going to keep it NFL. Team. We're going to keep it rolling. A very controversial event mm. occurred um, this, topic, this past I weekend uh, during the Chiefs game. Mm-hmm. So there was, um, I believe this writer for Deadspin or whatever, mm-hmm. makes a big stink about a young boy. I don't know how mm-hmm. old it was, 10, 11, 12, whatever. Oh, child. Young. Yeah. young, young, young child. Dressed up in his Chiefs jersey mm-hmm. at the stadium, enjoying the game. Um, he's wearing the um, native Indian headdress mm-hmm. um, and has warrior face paint. Mm-hmm. Half black, half red, Chiefs Chief colors. Stuff. Yeah, Chief colors. Today we live in a, a day and age where if someone wants to get offended, mm-hmm. they're going to find a way to get offended, of folks. Mm-hmm. I bet this guy's white, too. And uh, No, I don't think he was. I don't think he was. Um, but this writer. That's what I was saying. I bet you the, the writer's white. No, I don't think uh, he was. Um, the kid was. The kid was. Oh, of course, that's why he's in trouble. But yeah, headline: The NFL needs to speak out against the Kansas City Chiefs fan in blackface, and then Unreal. they conveniently post a picture of the kid. Yeah, I've seen one sided with blackface. Yeah, they, they don't, don't show the red show side. That he has a yeah. red side. right. So These are Chiefs colors. You want to control a narrative? There you go. Yeah. That's how you fucking do yeah. it. It's First terrible. Of all, that's some bullshit. Only posting that part in his yeah. face. And it's a child wearing face paint around Halloween. I also want to know: Was he the only person in the whole stadium? I bet you he's that not wearing face paint. I bet she's not. People paint, paint the, You seen the Devils episode of Seinfeld? The Devils, the face <laughs> painters. <laughs> the people paint their face and they yeah. go to games. Yes, this is yeah. a thing. It folks. is a thing. Yeah. This is people have been painting their faces and going to football games as much as and as corny as I think it is. It's been a t- it's been a tales all this time, you know what I'm saying. So now this kid's gonna get ostracized for painting so his I face Chiefs colors what, and going to a Chief game. What is this guy mad at? That half the kid's face was black, or that he was wearing the Indian headdress? It's probably both. both. Yeah, both. It's probably both. both. But if the kid had all red face, would he have said something? You think? Yeah, if he did it all red, be like he's depends. To look oh, like probably. A oh, because he's a red skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah depends no, on he how did, he was feeling. Yeah, but you know, he just did half and half because those are the Chiefs' fucking colors. Maybe he's just just did white and I yellow. Think trying to turn it into a blackface thing, I think, is a little ridiculous. That, oh yeah, if you're spinning hand. it that way, it's absurd. The headdress thing, I don't see how you can get offended by that either because you're literally children wear that at like. Fucking Thanksgiving fucking it's, it's, school fucking parade. It's not a disrespect to the no. culture. And apparently, um, I don't know, there's some type of update here that the kids, what is it? His father, his grandfather and father are reportedly affiliated with um, some type of Indian tribe. I don't, that's I'm probably not, where he Santa got the, something. I'm not going to disrespect got, it because I can't say that's it. That's probably where he got the headdress from, too. Probably got it from real Indians. Yeah. So, uh, like, um, so yes, this Native is like, Americans. I don't know if, if I can say kid, Indians. If this is like part of his culture, and this guy is like getting on him in this article before he even knows like the background, the background yeah, of this no, kid. No. It's so sad. And then that fucking guy is he, he's 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 exactly what he's hating on. And I don't know what angers me more about this: mm-hmm. the fact that someone needed to stir something up, or like because they threw up a child, or was it because it was a child? No. Or that there's a publication out there that okayed this. That okay, yeah. yeah. That's true. You know? It's the liberal media, damn it. Um, liberal media, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah, I don't I, I think it's the most that's one of the more ridiculous and imagine, things. Imagine like people now start like going after this kid. Yeah. This oh yeah, because like, people don't think for kid, themselves. Yeah, this poor kid, like just trying to live his life and now people are gonna be like attacking him because cancel him because yeah. he's a child who no, wore absolutely absurd. Obviously there was a lot of backlash. Yeah. Um, Everyone knows this guy's an idiot. I good. Think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good. And you know, it's even crazy. Like, there's a Native American like organization that's perditioning the like perditioning the NFL now to get the Washington's name changed back to the Redskins. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because they feel like it's an honor. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's to, an to honor their a, culture a team named after, after them. them. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and the uh, the tribe actually uh, came out and. Um, that they had affiliation with and mm-hmm. made a statement via About the kid front the... office sports. Yeah, saying wearing, re- God, if I pronounce this wrong, I'm sorry, regalia or whatever, yeah. you know. It is regalia. Regalia? Like, no, yeah, but like that's just like. Wearing regalia as part of a costume or participating yeah. in any other type of cultural appreciation. Um, condemning. Let's see. We are aware that a young member of our community attended a Kansas City Chiefs game in a headdress and face paint in his way of supporting his favorite team. Please keep in mind that decisions made by individuals or families in our community are their own and may, and may not reflect the views of the broader tribal community. As a federally recognized 
tribe, the Santa Nez band of mm-hmm. Chamash Indians, does not endorse wearing regalia as part of a costume or participating in any type of um, cultural appropriation. So I so guess they're just staying out of it. Yeah, yeah. that's like, what listen, it sounds We ain't like. got nothing to do with yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Because someone probably went to them like, oh, you you guys are aware of this? Yeah, oh. they're just like, no comment. Like, yeah, don't give a fuck. Yeah, let them like, live their yeah, Pretty much like, let's just let them live their life. It's an individual choice. Absolutely. But it's like, it, to me, I'm like, I feel like this guy's just picking on a kid. Yeah. Because it's like, well, you wouldn't, like, were you going to do that with an adult? Maybe, probably. But of course, oh, you're going to pick on a child because they're not going to defend themselves for this. Somebody like a grown ass man, if I was mean, I would come out and I'd defend myself over it. Yeah. You know, yeah, you can't, a kid's not going to be able to do that. And this fucking piece of shit writer is going to get away with it <laughs> because he just needed a fucking shock article so people will read his that writing. Is, yeah, that is a shock yeah. article. There's, people with the do picture that. only showing yeah. the black side. Well, we have to do this because otherwise no one's going to read my writing because I'm a terrible fucking journalist. <laughs> Fuck that. I, see, That's I find I guys say. like that, the guys that like post like that post in Deadspin or whatever, like some of the like bigger sports writers, like. Some of them are ass garbage, and they do not deserve to have an opinion like that. Fuck them. That's what I say, right? Yeah, I will fuck the media all around. Mm-hmm. Fuck them, bro. Always trying to stir up shit. Always stirring up a problem. But wanted to bring that up because it's just absurd. Yeah. Um, That's a problem. Um, AI is a problem. <laughs> we were talking about that before. AI is always going to be a problem. Yes. It's uh, becoming a problem. Per <laughs> a Business Insider, the creepy AI-driven surveillance that may be infiltrating your workplace. Which is 100% already happening. We've been getting surveyed since 2001. Yeah, just like the title of this article, AI can detect emotions and get you fired. That's like, what's crazy. What, yeah. like, what does that what? mean? How? So yeah. if I'm pissed off at my boss in my head, it can pick that up and, hey, you know your employees want to fuck you <laughs> up. Kill you, right? Yeah, your employees want to throw you off that fucking like, bridge on Route 1. You can't be fired for your emotions. emotions well, unless you're having like some type of a breakout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but if you're just like sitting there and you're like controlling yourself, like yeah, an adult controlling person, yourself, but you feel like you want to kill someone, but you're, you know, mm-hmm. controlling yourself because you're at work. Like, That's nuts. That's what I'm saying. AI is going to get way too smart for its own fucking good. Oh, yeah, definitely. And it's going to like I talked about this. The guy that created that, he walks around with a backpack with a kill switch the, in the, the back. Yeah, they like the, if it gets too smart, I'm gonna have to pull the plug on this thing. The CEO of ChatGPT, yeah, that's the guy. Smart. Yeah, he left ChatGPT a couple of weeks ago. There was a big mm-hmm. eruption with senior leadership. Left, went straight to Microsoft. But apparently, there was a, I guess, a power struggle between you know both sides. One saying AI is moving too fast. Yeah, we, need to, we need to be careful what we're fast. doing. Yeah, and the other side saying pedal to the metal. Let's yeah. go. And so there was a disagreement there. He left. I forget which side he was on about it. He but. was on probably pump the brakes a little yeah. bit. This shit's yeah. crazy. I developed this. I know what it's capable of already. Like, if it's capable of being able to read your emotions, that's insane. Yeah. Think about that. If you're sitting there dead face, like mm-hmm. you have new, no, and it can just get in, that means it can get into your mind. It means it can read it's your mind. Be like, your heart, like it's got to be able heart to like, read your heart rate, shit, you know, breathing. Like, yeah, your breathing. Like that's how you can like figure out Probably. someone's emotions. I don't think it's really just like mind reading mind fucking you. you. Yeah, I think it's just like picking up. It's gonna on... be mind fucking you when they make you take the fucking chip. When they when they people that are chipped, they're probably getting their coming? mind read. That's oh, coming whenever they feel if like you it. Chip, like, can we be chipped and be able to read each other's minds? That, but that, yeah, I bet you that's a way that they would be able everything's to read gonna your be mind. interconnected. Yeah. That's what they want. Yeah. They want yeah. Humans yeah. and fucking robots fucking that's what they fucking want. Doctor literally. Octopus. <laughs> yeah. Doc Ock, baby. Doc Ock. <laughs> 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 but no, like oh, I crazy. if So like what would you do if one day you write you're a fucking off your boss at something like, in your head you're like fucking jerk off, piece of shit, motherfucker. Yeah. And like you're sitting there and next thing you know they call you in the office, like listen air. Um I just ran the software on your computer. It was just like it was it was analyzing you. And um, these are the results. <laughs> it says you want to fucking smack me in the face, <laughs> run me o- throw me in traffic, and that, yeah, so. I'd be like, I had a moment, it passed. Yeah, so you're going to be fired now. <laughs> but, like, that's what I'm saying. If that, that's like, the, that reminds me of, like, the social score in fucking yes, China. Like, yes, Like, if, if you, do you have a social score? That's crazy. What is that? 
Like but you have to keep up your social shit like in order to, to be able to do, do things. things. Mm-hmm. Like like yeah, if you're a hermit. Like yeah, I guess like you have to like be polite, and if you're not polite, they catch you, and that's a demerit or something like yeah. that. Like you, if you say shit on the internet, fucked up, they monitor everything yeah, you do on the internet. the internet. And it's like, a credit score, but it's just... yes, but social. Like, and if you like your shit down there, like the doors won't open for you. <laughs> Like at stores and shit like that. I'm serious. She got too it's drunk literally... last time she was here. Yeah, yeah for real. Doors don't open for her this yeah. time. She got a like, fight at the bar. That's like, yeah. that's like a black. It's a legitimate Black Mirror episode, and it's really happening in China. Mm. I'm saying, if you look it up, you'd be like, "Holy shit!" They have a social score, but this is something very similar, like AI being able to read your shit, like your emotions. Yeah. Creepy. Too much. Too much. Too much. Indeed. I want the kill switch. Give me the kill switch. <laughs> But yeah, man, I mean, this is where we're headed. Oh, we're heading to... We're there, baby. We're heading to some dark shit. We're there. Some real dark shit. Like, I always hear, like, they always say, oh, 2025, this and that. They're like, 2035. Like, somewhere, I don't know when, but I'll probably someone when we're old, shit's going to hit the fan <laughs> at an unbelievable we're gonna level. We're oh, gonna we're going to live to yeah, see it. Yeah. Because we've seen it all, so we're going to see the <laughs> yeah. end. Yeah. We're probably going to get to see the end. We might be old at that point when the end really happens, but we're going to see it. We're going to watch the collapse. We're going to get oh, the... We're God. probably... No, it's going to suck. We're going to be old during the collapse. We're not going to be able to take care of ourselves yeah. and defend ourselves. Yeah. 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 That's what's going to suck. <laughs> we got to start, like, building our fucking yeah, shit yeah. now. Say, let's just build a safe house now. Yeah. Well, we got Dom's house now. We'll just go we got my basement. In. Yeah. We need some underground. Like, what's that movie? <laughs> Cloverfield. Cloverfield, yeah. Was, so, yeah there's so a few. Like, yeah. The one with Brandon Frazier. Yes, that's the one I was thinking. <laughs> Brandon thinking Frazier, but Cloverfield is also one. I do love the one with Brandon Frazier, mm-hmm. though. That's the one with Alicia Silverstone. Yes. It's classic. Alicia Silverstone. I can't think of My first like, TV crush. Yeah. <laughs> In the babysitter. Oh, yeah. I used to <laughs> fucking think that was so hot. I'm like, dude. She's getting down the babysitter, bro. Alicia Silverstone. The kids seen her in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember you showing me that movie as kids. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Classic. I remember when I used to sleep at Ryan Curtis's house. I'll never forget. Remember that movie? Uh, fuck. It was like Drew Barrymore and like Whoopi Goldberg. It was yeah. Like some shit. They were like these girls on a trip or whatever. They're like friends. But there's a scene where Barrymore flashes her yeah. tits. She's like, here you go, you animals. He used to pause that, play that, pause that, play that for like, for like two hours. God. Class. Nothing like the horniness level of a fucking 10, fucking 12 year old kid. 12 year old boy, horniest person on the planet. It's a dangerous, <laughs> dangerous place to be. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Like, <laughs> I've probably never been hornier in my life. <laughs> like, just instantly. All day. Like, hard Staying dog. home from school, forget about it. Sore. <laughs> hard dogs for no reason. Yeah. Just out of nowhere. No, nothing beat a hard dog in school for that no reason. That was the worst. No reason at all. This, this a is a thing for guys. Yeah. You, you just, just be chilling in class. Boop. And like, or like my thing was, I'd pass out always. <laughs> and I'd wake up and it'd be like morning wood. I'd be like, oh, God. And they'd be like, all right, go to the dad, go to the board. And write. I'm like, I'm not getting up. And writing on the board. That is the most terrifying. Yeah. Like, it doesn't get scarier and more anxiety <laughs> ridden. looking at the clock, how much time you got. It's and like, like this thing's got to go, go down. fucking down. Go down. <laughs> I got five minutes. You got to like, go now, down. Did you ever get like asked to get up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, then what do you do? I do the flip. Yep. Do tuck. the Do the tuck. <laughs> do it quick. <laughs> Do so you flip it up? Yeah, into the band. Into the elastic band of the bands. Do the, the, just a little, the little adjust before you get up and you just up Let's for the go, board. go, soldier. Yep. You got this. <laughs> you got just right up into the, the band. I mean, at least you can make it work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got to walk a little further yeah. to keep it up there. <laughs> <laughs> not beats the time. Not that. But I stepped in dog shit. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Dude, I stepped in dog got shit. All over in the desk. In, in, Cisco, <laughs> right? in Mr. Cisco's homeroom. And, like, <laughs> I was sitting, like, you remember the old desk that had, like, the book thing under the desk? Yeah. So, like, I had no idea I stepped in shit. Oh, you put your and I'm, like, put my foot in there and I'm scraping Done. it off. Oh. <laughs> all right? And I'm starting to smell yep. shit. I'm like, oh, oh I God, I'm going to die. And I go, Higgs. Oh. Higgs was sitting behind me. I'm like, yo, what does that smell? He's like, we well, got dog shit all over the floor. I was like, what? 
<laughs> I looked at my shoe. I realized I had dog shit on it. I was like, oh my I was God. like yo, this is embarrassing. This sucks. So I, I limped up to the desk. I told Mrs. Sister I rolled my ankle. I got to go to the nurse. And I like, so I wouldn't like, it out. So I wouldn't step and make shit, like shit trails. <laughs> Your whole desk is already covered in shit. Dude, uh, when you dude, left, Matt, everyone is probably like, dude, what's that smell? Dude, I had him first period, too. Oh, so man. I go to the fucking, like, I limp out of there, like, so I'm not leaving <laughs> shit trails. Like, I get the whole way, and I book to the nurse, and she gave me a toothbrush. Yeah. She was cleaning it. Good, good, so man. I'm like, I'm in the fucking. You cleaning this shit. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> and then I get back to him. I had him for first period and I get back. He, he looked at me like I killed some disgusted. He was like, What the fuck? Like I was a, like, Who cleaned the shit off the, the teacher? Desk? He did. Yeah, he, he was, was like, a, He was a solid dude. Dude yeah. was cool. He was yeah. like, He was like, What the fuck? I was like, What? He goes, he goes, you made me clean that <laughs> shit up. I'm like, my bad, Don't dude. Custodian. Sorry. My bad. At least you didn't have to limp anymore. Yeah. I would have thrown <laughs> felt great after that. <laughs> That was too funny, though. Oh, man. Oh, I think with that, we should get to the dude of the week. Let's do it. Because it's almost time for Cowboy Football. Oh, we don't have no sponsors for dude of the week, right? No. no. We don't got nothing. No. But, okay, so dude of the week this week is going to bring us right back Oof, to the uh, NFL. All right. Mm, NFL. Yeah. NFL day. Um, so every Sunday, Scott Hansen graces us with his presence at NFL. Not to be NFL confused by Chris Hansen. Re- yes. On the red zone. That man sits in that studio from game one to the last of the four o'clock games, nonstop, the entire time, feeding us highlights all day long. God's work. He's doing God's, God's work. work. <coughs> he, th- there's rumors he leaves the studio for maybe a minute to use the bathroom if he has to, but that's it. If he has dumb, like he's, diarrhea stuff. <laughs> diaper? He forces it. He'll stay. He just stays. Probably diaper. Di- diaper? Diaper, 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 baby. But it's like what I was talking about before, having fucking doggy bag, like shit bags oh, yeah, for humans. Yeah. yeah. Well, they have those, I think, actually. Like if you're in the well, car, have, emergency like, style. Yeah. They definitely diaper on New Year's in Times Square. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So they don't lose their diaper spot. Diaper up. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. I would rather nah. not. <laughs> Imagine like going to hook up with a chick at night and you're like, yeah, yeah, take her, yeah. her, take what the diapers fuck? Off. I grab her diaper ass. Well, they both have diapers on, so I'm like, all right, let's put the diapers off, get to it. A white Ew, play. So embarrassing. But yeah, yeah, this guy. But no, Scott Hansen, le- legend. Like I said, does God's work every Sunday for us. Last Sunday, the fire alarm was going off Uh-oh. in the studio saying everybody needs to leave. A- and he didn't go anywhere. <laughs> he was about to burn down. He would have died for our Lieutenant sins. Dan style. <laughs> like, he was willing to die to give us football entertainment on Sunday. He was willing to burn the lie for that. And I, with that, he deserves the dude of the week. Easy. Yeah. yeah round of applause to Scott Hanson. So was there actually a fire? No. Okay. But Hansen's no one knew us. that. At first, they really thought it was because... It was not stopping. The show must go on. Yeah, he was like, uh, as you can hear that, but I'm not going anywhere, folks. <laughs> Great, man. I was like, you got to be kidding me. Like, what if there was really a fire? He would have died. <laughs> Went down with the ship. <laughs> Captain's going down with the ship. <laughs> Respect to the highest level. But, yeah, I think I think that's a good closeout for this week's episode. That was a good dude of the week. Yeah. Ari, why don't you send us off? Yeah. All right. Before you do anything else today, get online and go to allstarvintage.shop to check out their ever-evolving vintage sports apparel collection. Discover a curated collection of vintage sports apparel that celebrates the passion of sports enthusiasts and vintage lovers. If you want to check out more of the DudeCast, I know you do. Mm -hmm. Follow us on Facebook at DudeCast420, on TikTok at the DudeCast, and on Instagram Mm. at the underscore DudeCast. As always, our show is produced by Chop Sports Media and it's available to watch for free Mm -hmm. via the Chop Sports Media YouTube channel. And don't forget the audio version streams on all major platforms, including the Premier Streaming Mm -hmm. Podcast Network. Yeah, we're 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 uh, Nice. Good work, bird lady. All right, (laughs) folks. Take it easy, bleasy, and take it fucking sleazy out. Mm -hmm.